Hey everyone and welcome to the latest Pixelmon. Now after recording this episode I managed to get in contact with my friend who we pranked. Now he sent me a message, uh, a voicemail and this was the message he sent. Received today at 12.59 hours. Dude, go on my latest video and look at all the comments. I left work yesterday at about 6ish um, and I, I just couldn't believe it. So clearly you've either tweeted it or commented somewhere or done something. Just look at all the comments. To listen to this message, press 1. After that voicemail, I decided to give him a call and this was the conversation that we had. Jeez. Yeah. Did you listen to it? Yeah, I listened to your voicemail. I came out of work yesterday. Bear in mind that I had no, pretty much no comments on that video in like two weeks. Nothing. And the views had maybe gone up by like 10, 20 in two weeks. I come out of work and I look at my phone and there is literally like 147 emails. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, before I could even like read them all, as I'm on the train coming home, every minute, every single minute, like five new comments. <laughs> every minute, for the entire day. <laughs> I had a nap and I forgot to put my phone on silent and I just kept getting awake, I kept getting woken up. <laughs> literally every minute with new comments and I was too late to take it up and... Um, to put my phone on silent. Yeah, it, but, but... It hasn't stopped. It continued today. <laughs> While I was at work, I had my phone on silent. And I could see the little blue light going off every single uh, minute. How does it make you feel, though? Does it make you happy? It does. It, what was quite funny was I looked at some of the comments where one guy was like, you do realise we're only here because we're in gaming. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah... Um, that is good. Well, admittedly, admittedly, it's not my favourite song of yours, but it's still a good song. What happened, though? Because for that to suddenly have happened, well, you, like, tweet? I, I'm recording this conversation, so if you don't mind, I'd like to put it in an episode so people can that's hear fine. your response, if that's all right. <laughs> that's but fine. Basically, I told, um, I told viewers in one of our most popular series... I said, yeah. let's pull a little prank on my friend, because at football on Friday, I told them that you were discussing how many comments and likes you'd got just from me liking the video. Yeah. And so I told them to go on your video, like it if they wanted to, and also comment a relevant comment. So, for example, yeah, so like, I like music. On, on a video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was up. <laughs> But your views have gone up as well, which is freaking awesome, right? I know. I looked at it earlier this morning and it had like, I don't know, like 150 likes. That is the power of Zerain Gaming. Every single comment <laughs> was from your subscribers. <laughs> but no, what one person commented, because I read it all. One person said you should put some of our mu your music in our videos. Yeah, feel free. So you, 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 you need to start, like, you need to write a Minecraft song. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know much about Minecraft. Well. It's difficult. Maybe make a rap about, I don't know, anything. A rap about exploding creepers <laughs> and cobblestone. <laughs> yeah. I think you'll agree that that was a successful prank and a huge thank you to everyone who participated and to everybody who continues to watch this series. Now in this episode, I've come up with another prank which involves Twitter. Anybody who wants to participate in that, I'd be eternally grateful and let's see if we can produce another epic prank result. Enjoy this episode and goodbye. Hey everyone and welcome back to Pixelmon. Now, in the last episode, we managed to get some glowstone and we managed to also um, find a mob spawner and do all that kind of jazz. Now, the thing that I'm wondering about what how to make is a redstone lamp. Now, I should have really looked at the recipe before, um, before starting this episode, but I forgot. I'm guessing... It's a piece of it's a piece of glowstone with redstone around it. Am I right, guys? Let me know. If I am, we'll soon find out anyway. Um, right, here we go. So we shove that there. I can hear some annoying spider upstairs. Whoa! How many spiders are there? 
I swear, after the last episode, I I'm guessing you've watched it. If you didn't, go check it out. It's freaking awesome. Uh, well, it's, 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 well, some people might think it's awesome. I'm not going to sound too big headed. I'm just going to say it in a very, um, I'm going to be unbiased. It was awesome. Um, right. I'm guessing it's a piece of glowstone with redstone around it. Just a guess. Just a guess. Um, let's let's give it a go. If it's not, then shame on me, because t I should I should so know how to. Crap. Maybe it's a piece of glowstone. Maybe it is a piece of glowstone. That has to be it, surely. Crap. Um, I will be right back. It appears that I don't even know how to make redstone bloody lamp. Okay, and hello and welcome back to Danny doesn't know how to play Minecraft. Okay, I've managed to make a redstone lamp. For those who are wondering, it's just one glowstone, like so, like this. Smack it in the middle, and you just smack that glowstone in the middle. And you just put some redstone around it like that. And it's as easy as that. Um, right, so, I can now make my, um, computer, and to do that, I'm going to need more aluminium ingots, so I'm going to have to try and find, because I need, how, how many do I need? I need freaking six, six aluminium ingots, now, don't tell me I've got to go bloody mining again. Do I have some in... The, oh, so I've got three there. Do I have some in this chest down here? I'm definitely going to have to make some stairs. Because that is starting to hurt my poor ankles. Right. We're going to have to go and find some more aluminium. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I have to keep mining. But that is part of Minecraft. I mean, hello. You're watching Minecraft videos. Mine. Craft. Mine. You mine. And you craft. That is part of Minecraft. And we got to do... It's freaking hot in here. Um, so, yeah. In the, uh, in the last episode, we were discussing what your favourite movie was. Now, I haven't managed to read those yet because this video has been recorded straight after that one. But what I will do, I will read... The Here we go. We found some already. For shits. Another mob spawner. Are you freaking kidding me? Is this like the luckiest map or, or, or what? I'm going to have to use some wood to get up there. Now this could get pretty pretty dangerous. Right. Let's freaking get up there as quickly as possible. We need to light it because... Oh, it's a skeleton one. Ooh, so we get bows and arrows and bone mill. Perfect. Ooh, this is an iron up there. You see, the, every time we come and freaking mine... We find something freaking awesome. I thought that was like a green laser. Look, green laser. It's his health bar, I think. Um, we find something freaking awesome. Right. Let's just get rid of this lava, if we can. It feels like such a waste of wood. Um, but it's all fine and dandy. We've got trees of plenty outside. Um... Right, let's just barricade this off. Sorry, mate, you can't get in. Right, so we've got this. What's in the chests? Okay, we've got some more iron. We've got loads of string. We'll take some of these cocoa beans. We definitely need a chest room in our house because we're starting to gather so much crap. Now, two episodes ago, or was it three? I think it was three episodes ago. I asked you guys to pull a kind of, well, you could call it a prank because it confuses the other person. That's a prank, right? And we all find it funny. I asked you guys to prank my friend. I still haven't heard from him, obviously, because I'm recording this episode straight away after the last one. Um, but as soon as I do hear from him, I'm going to let you guys know exactly what he said. Now, I thought we could put another prank on somebody else. Now, I don't know how popular or how well this will work because it's a Twitter prank. It's a Twitter one. If you guys want to do it, then that will be absolutely fantastic, because the more people who do it, the better it will be. Um, but I'm going to put someone's Twitter 
in the comment section uh, in the description section of this video i'll put it right at the top saying tweet this person okay i'll put it i'll put it in there and i want as many people as possible if you want to i don't want to force you guys to do it and i hate keep asking i like i know i keep asking you guys to do stuff but i think it livens these videos up you know whilst you're listening to me mine and do stuff you can go to twitter um, with the video open on your right um, because you want to see everything I'm doing of course because it's epic Yeah, of course it is epic and uh, Yeah, it just gives you something cool to do because sometimes when I watch videos I'm like oh, I feel like going to Facebook I feel like checking a few tweets whilst having the video open on the right so and also it gives me something to talk about in the next episode right so I've got I've got the bauxite crap that I need um, so what I want you guys to do is go to their Twitter and tweet them, not hi or anything like that. Just go there and tweet them your favourite cheese. Your favourite, your favourite cheese. Now, if you don't know any other cheeses other than cheddar, because I don't particularly eat cheese that much, so all I know is like cheddar. And that's about it, really. Philadelphia, is that a cheese? And crap like that. So I want you to go to their Twitter and just tweet the name of a cheese. That's it. Nothing else. Not hello, Danny sent me here. Just cheddar. That's it. Just tweet them that or tweet them Philadelphia. Or let's make up a name of a cheese. Mario Sonic cheese. But it has to be a real cheese. I'm just making that up because I can't go to Google and research it. Now, if you want to research a really funny cheese name, go to Google and search names of cheese and pick your favourite one and just go there and tweet it to them. And the reason I want you to do this is because they work for Machinima and every time I tweet them and they tweet me, they make fun out of me and I make fun out of them and I want... I want loads of people just to bombard them with cheese, okay? If you want to tweet them a name of a cheese with a picture of it, even better, you know? Just just go there and tweet them names of cheese. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many people do that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll search their name at, and then I'm going to count how many people mention cheese to them and I'll let you know in a future episode um, if you guys can do that then that will be freaking amazing like seriously cheese che <laughs> I just thought cheese would be the perfect thing because even cheese sounds funny the word cheese you know and cheese everybody loves a bit of cheese don't they you know and yeah I just want to see what their reaction is to them being bombarded with tweets about cheese you know like will they tweet why are people tweeting me about cheese or i, I just want to know what their reaction will be so if you guys can do that if you don't have twitter you can easily sign up you literally sign up in less than a minute you put in what username you want, your email and a password, and that's it, you're done. And it's really easy to use. You just go to their Twitter link, which I'll put in the description below, and you click reply to them. So it will be at their username and then the cheese, okay? Um, what I'll do is I'll even put an example in the description below as well for those people who don't, who don't necessarily use it. Right. So if you guys can do that, that will be absolutely freaking where's the bauxite don't tell me i didn't freaking mine the bauxite i'm too busy talking about damn cheese that's the problem so if you guys can do that that'll be freaking amazing and yeah it will be epic um i can't wait to see their reaction and also how many cheese names you guys can come up with. The more outrageous names you can think of, the better. Um, because if, if we add like 50 cheddars, it might not be great. But if you've got like Philadelphia, cheddar, um, 
whatever other cheeses there are. I honestly cannot think of any other cheeses. Um, then it will just be absolute. So we got, we got four plus three and we only need six. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Might as well get this iron whilst we're here as well. Might as well, might as well, might as well. Might as well. Um, so yeah, that would be cool. And maybe um, in a future episode, if this one's popular and you guys enjoy doing these little pranky things, we can do another uh, another one to another Twitter person. Because um, that would be cool. Let me know in the comments below if, if you enjoy these little pranky things. Because I don't want to keep using you guys. I just think it's hilarious us all doing something together. You know? Um, and and finding out how how people react to what we do because it's it's just freaking brilliant that the fact that you went and commented that guy's video and he was like all oh, what, what 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 what's going on you know, he's not american but it just sounds funnier in, in that kind of accent um so yeah if you guys can do that then you're freaking amazing and i I hope, I hope loads of people do it. If they don't, it doesn't matter. We tried, right? We tried. And there's nothing worse in life than not trying. So it's better to try and fail than not try at all. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. We've got, we're going to make this computer before the end of the episode, for sure. And then I'm going to go and edit this episode because I can't wait to get it up to see if you guys go and tweet cheeses. And I'm going to go and research some cheese as well. Um, if you've got friends as well, if you've got friends on Twitter, phone them up and tell them to tweet cheese to this person. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I freaking can't wait one bit. Because every time we tweet each other, it's whoever can be the smartest, you know? Like, who can ever come up with the smartest uh, kind of argument or whatever. And it will just be... It will just be really funny. Right. Where's my hammer? There it is. Right. So we need to hammer six of these down. Which should be pretty cool. Now, in the last episode, I asked you guys to tell me your favourite movie. This episode, I want to know who your favourite artist is. Not painting. I'm talking about who your favourite musician is. I.e. is it Lionel Richie? I love a bit of Lionel. Or is it Rihanna? Let me know. I want to know. Um, maybe, maybe you could even include what your favourite song is from that artist. Like, for example, I can remember when I was at university once. I've probably said this before in a series. Um, there was a huge party in our flat. And because the flat had eight, eight rooms in it. Uh, so eight people stayed in there. But, of course, they all invited their mates around. So there was, there was loads of people in our flat. And me and my friend were watching a film. Um, because... I don't know why we're watching a film. But anyway, suddenly, there was a knock on the door. And everyone decided to come into my room. So what did I do? Oh, I put on Lionel Richie. Okay, this is at a university party. Well, in our flat. So, But it was still a university party. I put on the coolest musician ever. Lionel Richie. And um, everybody was packed into my little university room, dancing to Lionel Richie, jumping up and down, going, nah, singing along to the song. It was seriously probably one of the most funniest things I've ever seen and the most epic thing I've ever seen in my entire life because you don't expect university people to dance to something so uncool. You could I keep right-clicking. Crap. Something uncool. Do you know what I mean? Like, Lionel Richie isn't too hip with the youth of today. Um, but me and my mate... The, the reason I started to like him was because me and my friend... Right, so I need glass panes as well. I must have some in here somewhere. Yeah, we do. Me and my friend, we're watching MTV one day. There are other music channels available, obviously. But it doesn't matter because I have... Um, I don't watch music channels too much anymore. This was back in the day before... 
uh, music videos were on YouTube. And me and my friend, we were watching MTV, and it was like old songs, and we were laughing at them. And all of a sudden, Lionel Richie came on, and it was dancing on the ceiling, and we were like, wow, this guy is abs he's an absolute legend. We just built the PC. He's an absolute legend. He made this video ages ago, like, what, in the 1920s or something? He's not that old, I'm joking. Um, but he made it, like, ages ago. And, uh... The video is hilarious. If you haven't seen it, him dancing up and down on the ceiling, some old man walking in, some, was he a cleaner or something? I can't remember. If you haven't seen it, go search it on YouTube. It's a pretty... We, we found it pretty funny. Um... It's probably not funny if you watch it by yourself, but if you watch it with a friend, it's quite cool. Right, let's put down our computer. Right, there we go. What we'll do is we'll extend this room a little bit more at a later date. So how do we use this thing? So we just click our Pokemon. So what's this? So we've got a bin here. So you can... Oh, look, you've got different boxes to put them in as well. Can you rename the boxes? That would be pretty cool. So we can just put... It's as easy, easy as that. Oh, you've got to keep at least one Pokemon on you. So there we go. We've got our fossil machines, our computer. I'll keep I'll keep them on me. There we go. That is pretty freaking neat. And I've just noticed my Pokemon have fainted. What I'm going to do is, as I use the healing desk, I'm going to end this episode here. A huge thank you for joining me on this episode again. Um... We'll find out what the what the uh, result result of the poll is about the Skyblock um, Jurassic Park thing a little later. I just thought that Skyblock it would it would give me challenges to do, so I would have goals to aim at, and also the Jurassic Park thing. Dun 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 dinosaurs. Dun dun. Dun 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 T Rex dun 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 Raptor dun 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 would give me something cool to build like we could have a nice little roller coaster going over some deadly T Rexes and you're like oh my god I'm gonna die yeah we could do something cool like that if you want me to do both do I look like I've got time to do both I could probably do both so let me know right what did I come up here for to heal my Pokemon thank you for watching this episode be sure to join me next time when we will be doing we didn't even do the farms today that's how bad we this because we had to collect the um aluminium thank you for watching this episode be sure to give it a like if you're enjoying these episodes i'm sorry if this one was a little bit too boring but we did make a computer we did also find a skeleton spawner which could be extremely useful in future because we can collect loads of bone mill for our farm and stuff we could even have like a house above it with a ladder going down so we can easily get there from from up here. Um, so yeah, and comment below who your favourite musician slash artist is and what your favourite song is by them. Um, thank you for watching this and goodbye.